A 16 year old told investigators she cried silently as her head was forced into a couch and she was sexually abused by a man while she was at a sleepover on New Year's Eve. 47 year old Timothy Green was sentenced to 10 years in prison today. The maximum allowed by law with the injury to child charge he pleaded guilty to. Green was originally charged with rape, but Fremont County Prosecutor Carl Lewis agreed to amend the charge, meaning Green will not have to register as a sex offender. Friday morning in court, Judge Gregory Moeller said that amendment was wrong and he needed to quote, look evil in the eye and call it what it is. He said because Green does not have to register as a sex offender, the world needs to know what he did. We're going to play some of what Moeller said, a warning it is graphic and disturbing, but this is what what the teenage girl told investigators happened that night. She said that I heard Tim walking down the hall. Tim hovered, hovered over me. I was asleep, but conscious. He knelt over me, straddling my legs as I lay on my stomach, face down on the leather couch. He pulled my pants down, just past my bottom. I could feel his fingers dancing around my private parts. I thought he was, I thought he was dreaming at first. Tim was performing oral sex on me. Why, I don't know. I felt his penis on the inside of my thigh before I felt the press up against my genitals. I jerked hard forward away, but he grabbed the hair on the back of my head and pressed my face into the leather, suffocating me. I'm getting very claustrophobic then, trying to switch position so I could breathe. He penetrated me, it hurt. I must have passed out then. I rewoke, hearing Kim, his girlfriend, from the back room. Tim stopped what he was doing to me and went to talk to Kim. But Tim came back to the couch <clears throat> to finish. He rubbed himself against me. He licked and he sucked on me, all below the belt. He made moans and groans as he did this, and he penetrated me for the second time. It must have lasted at least 10 minutes before he went back to talk to Kim. I heard her ask what was taking so long. I don't remember his response, only to come back again. I was aware but completely limp, like a dead fish. I got shoved half off the couch while I thrust it in me. I was crying silently. I heard someone walking in the back of the house, and I prayed to God someone would walk in to see what Tim was doing to me. I knew that was the only way anyone would believe me, the only way he would stop. I recall him being done with me, kissing me one last time, grabbing my bottom, and under his breath in a groaning voice, I heard him say, I'm so sorry, and then he stated the victim's name. This is so wrong. This is so bad. I'm sorry. The victim and her family were in court, and Green apologized for his behavior. I never got a chance to write anything or do anything. I've been extremely busy, but I wanted, since everybody was here, to express my feelings for all this. And I am very deeply sorry. And I did not mean for anything to happen, and it meant no harm. Green's attorney recommended his client serve a rider and not go to prison. Prosecutor Lewis recommended the maximum sentence for the charge, 10 years in prison, with six of those years being fixed time and four years indeterminate. Imprisonment's going to provide an appropriate deterrent, not just for this defendant, but for other who may potentially prey on young women. Moeller agreed with Luis. I can't possibly comprehend the pain of this young woman or understand the dreams and hopes of a 16-year-old girl. But I want her and the public to understand that I am certain that those dreams don't include being slobbered over and penetrated from behind by her friend's 46-year-old father. This is reprehensible and deplorable behavior no justification.
Green was also ordered to undergo substance abuse treatment and sex offender treatment. He will also have to pay a $25,000 fine and pay $5,000 to the victim. Now, after the hearing, Prosecutor Lewis approached me and pointed out several recent cases of people who have been charged and convicted of sex crimes, and they have received less prison time than Green. Of course, those people have been required to register as a sex offender, but Lewis tells me in entering the plea agreement, he was confident that Green would receive the maximum sentence for that injury to child charge. Reporting in Fremont County, I'm Nate Eaton, East Idaho News. Com. <laughs>